Hey babies, how's it going? Happy trick or treat. We're gonna try to carve a pumpkin here. I'm gonna turn this into some kind of ghoulish, kind of, I don't know, it's a mess. <laughs> We're gonna turn it into a corpse pumpkin. Uh, just trying a bunch of new stuff here. I don't know what I'm gonna uh, end up with here. Probably a freaking mess, but let's make a pumpkin pie, guys. Let's, let's get this thing on the road. Thanks for joining me tonight. Happy spook night. Oh, this is for spook night. <laughs> Anyways, let me put this on here. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get this thing going. Okay, uh, I stopped this in the middle of the progress, but I'm going to show you guys. I, I'm not doing it traditional. I'm carving this thing from the bottom because I'm backwards. You know, everything I do is backwards. That's how my thinking is. I read books backwards, you know, backwards to forward. And usually you got the stem, so you can pull that off easily, but we're going to struggle because that's what we like to do. Okay, so we're going to get that, pull that core out of there. Oh, look at all the guts. Ah, ah. Okay. So, let's cut that off. Let's cut that gut, those guts off. Nice and good. There we go. We'll clean that off nice. Let's clean all those guts out. I haven't covered a pumpkin in Geez, since I was probably 15 years old. What the hell's wrong with me? I always bought those uh, plastic ones and decorate them. But let's, we're going to go for the real deal here. But we don't know what kind of mess we're going to get. Let's just dig in there. I'm just getting the spoon in there to loosen things up. I'm going to stick my hand in there and get dirty, guys. Because I like to get dirty. I like to get in the holes. <laughs> Bears and butters, you know that. I get dirty. I get in the holes. Okay. Not very many seeds I got ripped off. This pumpkin was... A rip off. I didn't get very many seeds. Or did I? No, it's kind of fruitless. Don't have any seeds. It's probably one of those pumpkins that are grown organically or something weird. I don't know. Very little seeds. I don't even know if I'm going to mess with that or not. Anyways, I'm going to clean the guts out the best I can. What a mess. What a slick little mess. I don't care. I'll clean up the mess after I'm done. You don't worry about messes when you're creating things. You just do it. You just make a mess. You ruin everything around you. Sorry about this boring process. I should have skipped this process, but it's part of the process. So keep with me here, boys and girls. Spooky goblins, stay with me here. Stay with me here. Oh my God, this is gross. Oh, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh my goodness, well, hopefully I brought those candles down here, did I do that? That's good, I hope I did. Um, you know guys, I'm not going to use a real candle because I think that's probably a little bit dangerous for my inspiration here. You know, and I'm, a, I'm the kind of guy that falls asleep with a stove on, so probably not a good idea for me to use a real candle. So, hey, anyway, we'll clean that up a little bit. I'll deal with that pumpkin later. I'll probably get a bunch of mice eating the pumpkin seeds later. Anyways, that's pretty good. So we hollowed it out. There's a lot of seeds still in there. I can't get all the seeds out of this thing. It's just, like I said, I've done this a long time. It's gonna be a train wreck. Right, let's just scrape that up as best we can. There was some more in there. I kind of thought I was done. I thought I was done. Anyways, let's get this thing going, you know, just for the video purpose. I don't want to spend eight hours doing this. So, let's get this out of the way. Sit over there for now. It's pumpkin guts. Okay. Then I used a waterproof marker, solid marker, and I already curved the face out. I mean, I kind of just drew it out. But I'm going to carve it out now, but I'm going to kind of carve it out weird because it's kind of a tight situation here. So first of all, first of all, I'm gonna stick it right through the nostrils. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you'll see what I mean in a minute. Boom! Yeah, we just want a little bit of air holes through that. Just so the luminaires show a little. We're gonna mess it up anyway. Okay, there's one hole. Closer. 
Oh, perfect. It's kind of gross. He's got a deviated septum. Kind of like me. I should have got a nose person. Hurt. Now my nose is like all deviated. Oh, well, you live and learn, right? Take 10 hours just to cut his nose out. Jesus. Oh, do you want me to be a nose surgeon when I grow up? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, like it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? This isn't about being perfect, it's about being artistic. Okay, so we're going to start doing the eyeballs down. Try to keep them as round as you can. And I have to find the most dullest knife in this damn knife drawer here. This, like, this knife is like dull. And you know what they say, dull knives are the most dangerous knives. Probably cut my freaking fingers off. Let's see if I can pop his eye out halfway. Here we go. We're making progress. Okay, I got his eye out. We're gonna throw that in the bucket over here. Oh, I missed the bucket. I got a trash can here. Let's just see that. Okay, let's see how his eye looks. Okay, we gotta get in there more. He's, God, he's got like a deep core. Rhino to stick. Okay. There we go. We got to it. Got to it. Clean that out a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna start with eyeball number two. You see, I almost cut my fingers off. And I recommend you don't do this while you've been drinking, because you will definitely cut your fingers off. And I did not drink tonight. Actually, I haven't drank in a long time, guys, except for celery juice. I've been being more healthy lately. Okay, we got that going. Got the nose, got the eyeballs, now the intricate part, the teeth. Uh, where am I gonna go from here? Okay, we're just gonna cut the inside part out and leave the teeth. So, that's gonna be a little tough to do. Oh my God, I feel like Manson. Gonna be a little tough because this core stick might have to get a little tight with it. Just go this way with it now. Like I said this is really tight. And it doesn't have to be too perfect because you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna mess it up anyway. On purpose. Purpose, on purpose. Sometimes you do happy accidents on purpose. Like you might accidentally kill your husband on purpose or your girlfriend. That's scary. It happens. Especially Halloween time. Mm, scary stuff going on, guys. Halloween. Oh, let's, not, let's not talk about gory things. Let's focus on this gory pump instead. He's going to be corpsey. We're gonna name him Corpsey. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna name him Corpsey One, and then maybe I'll do Corpsey Two, but not on video. I'll just do it later on. This is, I can see this is gonna take a while. A lot longer than I expected. And like I said, I'm doing this on the fly, so we don't know what we're gonna end up with. I'm not the greatest pumpkin carver in the world. So, bear with me. Oh, geez, Louise. So, that's tough to get through that core. If I cut myself on air here, it's going to be wild. I hope I don't, but if I do, it's going to be really cool. Probably go viral. Good riff there with that guitar. Okay. Love the ambulance. It's, it's a real ambulance, guys. Hope somebody's not hurt there. 
especially on the night that's going to be coming here. Lots of crazy stuff going on. Let's try to get that little tooth right there in the corner. I'll try to get it. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to get it out of there. I mean, I dug it out already, it's just got to go deeper. Well, like I said, when I'm going to do this pumpkin, it ain't going to even matter if it's perfect or not. We're just starting this thing. The carve job is bad enough. And I'm not going to be too picky with it. Looking good. Looking mighty good. Let's take that out, kind of give him a spacer. It's like he had braces when he was a kid. Perfect teeth. There you go, Tommy. Okay. Don't get jealous of my pumpkin skills, Corey. <laughs> Jealous of my pumpkin carving skills. Oh, look how cool he looks. And we got to get a little bit of that excess out of there because we need it to glow when we put a candle on it. And like I said, that yeah, looks pretty good. I'm liking it because we're going to just mess it up anyway. Let's just kind of dig out the inside and get those extra parts out of there. Perfect. That's all we want. We don't care if there's a few guts in there. We don't care at all. Okay, that's the easy part. That was the easy part, guys. The easy part. Now the hard part. Effing him up. To where he's going to be corpsey. Okay, and you're not going to be able to see his face until I'm almost done. But we're going to have to start it that way. Okay, so I'm going to get some red wrap. Some red wrap. Shrink wrap, that's what you want to call it. I want a bunch of it. Let's get some more over here. Let's get some more over here. Right there. We're going to get on that side of it. You're saying, what the hell is this guy doing? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But we're going to find out here in a minute what this is going to do. Now, this is going to be what I want to turn into skin for the corpse. All right, he's gonna be corpsey. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a heat gun. Heat gun. Now we're gonna heat it up. Right to his body. Guys, don't try this at home, I guarantee it. I'm nuts. Okay, enough of that. Just for now. Isn't that wild? And now we're gonna lay him down on his face. Look at that, he's already looking creepy as he's looking creepy as heck already. 
already. You know. Let me see. I got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to try here. One of the things I'm going to try here is this uh, great stuff. It's like for sealing doors. And we're going to put some of that on. Guys, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. Anyways, I'm having fun. That's what I'm doing. Get a spatula and kind of smooth it around. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's rotting. Set that there for now. Spray paint. Get some cotton balls. Stick it to some of that glue. Remember, he's a corpse, he's rotting. Messy. And I love messy. Messy's artistic, guys. Get messy. Okay, now I'm gonna get some clear glue. Clear glue. I've never done any of this, guys, before. None of it. <laughs> Messy. Just throw that cotton ball around. Put a little rotten skin on it. Perfect. Perfect.
purposes. Nobody does horror like me, babies. That wild. Yeah, he's looking really good. Okay, now we're gonna turn him around a little bit. Mess with him over here now. This is going to harden up real good when he's done. Right now I'm just making him have a rotten corpse of skin. Not bad house. We're gonna get no orange, not too much. Isn't that cool, guys? He's, he's, he's just coming out fabulous. I got all kinds of spray paints here that I like. I want a little gloss on it, so we're going to get a little gloss on it. Right here. Okay. Well, this part's dangerous here. Now, I don't recommend you do this at home. I do not. Put heat to that pump. We're gonna put heat to the blowtorch. I want you guys to be very careful because this could explode. I'm dangerous as hell. Don't breathe this shit in.
All right, enough torch there. Get a facelift, that's for sure. Man, you know, I kind of want something going on at the top. I don't know. Well, something, something exciting. I don't know what. Let's try something. I have so many cans of spray paint. It's hard to find my paint that I'm looking for. Uh, is this it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I got lucky. There's a little silver on that. Yeah, there we go. Silver lining. Now we're going to blacken it up again. I just want a little bit of sheen underneath it. A little intelligence. We have it. I think that's what we're gonna have right there. It's gonna cool off for a second. Uh, you know what? I think we should light this, buddy. I think we should light it. Give me a candle. I don't know if one's gonna do it or two's gonna do it. We're gonna sit the candle right on that sucker. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. He's done here. Let's take a good look at him. Look how rotten he is. He's a cork fall, right? So we're gonna cut that bottom out. Cut that bottom out. We're gonna get that pumpkin perfectly in there. We're gonna try to get it in there. Sit in there a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I got hit with pumpkin shrapnel. Okay, so we're gonna stick it in there. Okay, a little bit more. I'm gonna fit in there kind of tight. Oh, perfect. Okay, there he is. Just like that. I'm gonna cram up his ass here. I mean, up the back end. <laughs> Forgive my French. Let's see, where was it at? Right here? Maybe not. What was it? Is that it? That was it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright guys. There he is. And he's gonna dry. He's gonna dry. So take a look at him. He's all corpsey and stuff. We're gonna shut the light off and see what we got going on. Let's get this out of the way. We might put some glow in the dark on too. I don't know yet. Okay, let's see if it shows. Yeah. Glowing yet? Does he look pretty cool, cameraman? Is that long enough? Happy Halloween, everybody! Take a look at Corpsey here. That's how gross he is. He'll harden up real good. Look at that, guys. That's scary as heck. And that's how I do my pumpkins. Look at these. They got like rotten flush. He's rotting everywhere. Look at that. Isn't that crazy cool? I'll do a couple like that. I'll take a little bit more time on them and mess with them a little bit more. I always like to mess with stuff. It's nasty, it's messy, but I love it. Anyways, create something good tonight, guys. Peace out and happy Halloween.